tutorial is to teach you how to create a QR code scavenger hunt. There are two parts to this process and the first part is to create a Google form. So in actuality this tutorial is part one of creating a QR code scavenger hunt but it's really more of a tutorial on how to create a Google form. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to drive.google.com and make sure that you're signed into your Google account. Once you do that, you click on the red Create button. You find the drop-down menu of Form. You're going to click that, and it's going to ask you to title your form. So you can call it My First Form or My Quiz, whatever you'd like to title it. I'm going to choose the theme of Birthday Balloons for the fun of it and click OK. Once I've done that, I can fill out a form description. Here I'm going to add a welcome message and say, welcome, please complete this form. And then I have a variety of prompts or questions that I can fill in. So for our purposes of creating a Google form, you would write any question that you wanted to here. For our purposes of creating a QR code scavenger hunt, you're actually going to create a hint in the question title. So for instance, you could write something like, I am underneath someone's chair in this room. And then the goal is for people to go and find who, where the QR code is that's underneath someone's chair in this room. It's always nice to include some sort of help, test, help text. And for this purpose, you could say something like, please write the answer to the question below. And of course the question is what is given to you once you scan the QR code. For a QR code scavenger hunt you want to make sure that the question type is text if this is the route that you choose. Choose whether or not this is a required question and then you click done. From there you can go ahead and add more items. The drop down menu will ask you what type of item do you want to add but if you don't want to go to that, if you don't want to use the drop down, you can just click on add item and it will give you the same type of question that was given in the previous. I'm going to delete this second question because you can see that you can just repeat that process as many times as you'd like for as many QR codes as you would like to create. You can choose whether or not you want to show the link to submit another response, publish and show a link to the results of the form, or allow respond and or allow responders to edit the responses after submitting. When you are done, you can click on send form. At this point, you are given a URL that you can copy or you can press command C if you're on a Mac and copy that URL and then email it out, post it on your website, place it wherever you would like people to go to access this particular form so you can get their results to the QR code scavenger hunt. When you're all done, you click done. You want to make sure that the responses are also always going to the appropriate destination. And what I mean by that is you want it to go into a new spreadsheet. Now I have my settings for always creating new spreadsheet, but yours might not be like that. If that's something that you would like to do, make sure that that checkbox is checked and then you click create. You can see it says setting up spreadsheet now. And you can click when you're directly in the quiz itself, view responses, and it will show you the spreadsheet with the timestamp and the first question. In addition, if I come to, back to my drive, I will see that I already have my first form, my quiz, as well as my first form, my quiz, responses. Now the reason I have two is because I initially set my forms up so that it always opens in a new spreadsheet. But because I ran that program again for your purposes, that's why I have two. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this second one so that I don't get confused between the two. And now I've got both of my items that I can open at any time. So that's the first part of creating a QR code quiz. I'm going to stop this screencast, and if you'd like to see the second part, then go on to the next video in the playlist. Thank you very much.